this uh, video is for class 12 students and the topic is determinants through determinants we can achieve two things we can solve the system of linear equations in two or three variables quickly and also we can find the area of triangle if three vertex of the triangle is known to you and to achieve the above mentioned aim there are certain basic things we should know like we should know to find the determinant of a square matrix we should know the properties of determinants we should know what are minus we should know what are cofactors and finally we should know how to find the adjoint of a matrix and also inverse of a square matrix so we are going to start with determinants of a square matrix in your syllabus you have square matrix only up to order 3 this has to be kept in mind order 1 order 2 and order 3 and this statement is very important determinant of only square matrix can be found we should never forget this so we'll start with determinant of matrix of order 1 you know matrix of order 1 has only one elements like matrix A has one row one column and only one element so its determinant will be A determinant of matrix A having one element 5 will be 5 and determinant of matrix B having one element minus 7 will be minus 7. We should also know how to express the determinant of a matrix. We can do it in three ways. D, E, D, A or, or this way. Value of determinant of matrix A is the number itself. Now, determinant of matrix of order 2. Matrix of order 2 has 4 elements. You have already studied that in matrix. And so determinant of A is A11 into A22 minus A21 into A12. That is the difference of the product of the principal diagonal elements A11 into A22 minus A21 into A12. This is very important. For example, matrix A4312, determinant of A. So its determinant is 4 into 2 minus 1 into 3 comes to 5. So two questions from your book, exercise 4.1, question number 1, third part. This is one question. Its determinant has to be found. Let the matrix be A. As we know, determinant of a matrix A. A11 into A22. A11 into A22 minus A21 into A12. After simplifying, we get the result. One more example, exercise 4.1, question number 5. Some matrix of order 2 into t, 2, its determinant is given 3. So A11 into A22 minus A21 into A12. Solve the equation and the answer is this.
likewise there are many questions to find the determinant up to order 2 you find out so here you are going to learn how to find the determinant of matrix which has three rows and three columns by basic method remember there are other methods to find the determinant and that you will learn when I'll teach you what are cofactors and minors. To find the determinant of matrix A, this is the matrix A, we select the elements of first row A11, A12 and A13 and we write down this way A11, A12 and A13. Remember this negative sign is important. This is where students make mistake. Now how do we get this? We hide the elements of first row and first column. First row and first column. We get a smaller determinant. You can see this. First row and first column. If I hide, I get a smaller matrix, which I have written it here. Similarly, for first row, and second column I get a smaller matrix this is the smaller matrix A12 and the third one I will hide the elements of first row and third column and I write the determinants here you know how to find the determinant of matrix of order 2 this is how we do the calculation so I will show you this with, a, with an example so we will take an example to find the determinant of matrix which has 3 rows and 3 columns the basic method so we will find determinant of A We'll select the elements of first row this element 7 this element we write it here and then we hide all the elements of first row and first column we get 4 2 and 3 1 which I've written here 4 2 3 1 Then I take the second element of the first row, I write 9 here and then I hide the elements of first row and second column and I get 6, 2, 8, 1. Once again you can see this 6, 2, 8, 1 and then I select the third element 5 the smaller matrix 6 4 8 3 so with the element 5 by removing the elements of third column and first row I get a smaller matrix and the determinant of order 2 into of 2 I have to find this is the calculation you know how to find determinant of matrix of order 2 into 2 this is the 4 into 1 minus 3 into 2 6 into 1 minus 8 into 2 6 into 3 minus 8 into 4 but remember this negative sign this positive sign and this is very important normally students forget to put this negative sign here you will learn how to find the minors of a determinant so there are certain things to be kept in mind 
minors of an element aig is denoted by capital mig this is how you denote the minors minor of an element aij of a determinant is the determinant obtained by deleting its ith row and jth column in which aij lies i'll explain you that with an example for example we need to find minor of a11 an element that belongs to first row and first column so if you remove the first row and the first column we get these four elements that is we get a determinant of order 2 we can do the calculation and we know how to find the determinant similarly minor of an element that belongs to second row and second column we remove the second row and second column and we obtain determinant of order to a11 a13 a31 a33 a11 a13 a31 a33 and we can do the calculation for an example minor of 4 in this determinant 4 belongs to second row and first column if we remove second row and first column we get 2 3 and 8 and 9 you can see here the calculation is done second row and the first column and finally you have to keep this in mind that is minor of an element of a determinant of order n n has to be greater than or equal to 2 because we can find minors of determinant of order greater than or equal to 2 is the determinant of order n minus 1 just like we have taken an example of determinant of order 3 and we are getting minors as determinant of order 2 this is uh, how to find the minors of determinant of order 2 you have already learned how to find the minors of determinant of order 3 so minor of first and one and one that is removing the first row and first column i get 8 2 2 which is obtained by deleting first row and first column minor of m12 which is obtained by deleting the first row and second column we get 821 first row and second column m minor of the element that belongs to second row and first column second row first column a12 it is a12 which is obtained by deleting second row and first column similarly minor of element belonging to second row and second column is a11 second row and second column is a11 is an example to find the minors of all the elements for m11 remove the first row first column we get 9 m12 first row and second column we get 8 m21 second row first column 6 and the finally m22 second row and second column is 5 this is how you find determinant uh, minor of determinant of order 2 so here you will learn how to find the cofactor so if the minor minors are multiplied by a proper sign we get the cofactor the cofactors of the element aij is capital aij this is how we denote i is the row to which the element belongs and j is the column to which the element belongs the formula is minus 1 to the power i plus j capital m i j example we'll take an example here cofactors of the element that belongs to first row and first column 
if you remove the first row and first column we get the minus so minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 m11 minus 1 to the power e1 is plus we get the minor is a calculation to find the cofactor of the element that belongs to second row and third column second row and third column M32. 3 plus 2 is 5 odd minus 1 to the power odd is negative this is the cofactor we'll take an example from the book ml agarwal exercise 4.1 question number 4 first the determinant is given and you have to find the cofactor of the element that belongs to first row and second column which is minus 3 the element minus 3 this is the symbol the formula odd minus 1 to the power odd is negative sign the minor of 1 2 you know how we, we have learned 6 into minus 7 minus 1 into 4 and the final answer is this this is how we find the cofactor so we have learned how to find the minor and the cofactor so using the concept of cofactors and minors we are going to solve one question from your book exercise 4.1 question number 13 using cofactors of elements of second row we have to find out the value of the determinant 5 3 8 2 0 1 and 1 2 3 Remember, they have asked us to use the elements of second row. Elements of second row, they are 2, 0 and 1. I have written here, A2, 1 is 2, second row, first column. A2, 2 is 0 and A2, 3 is 1. Minor of the element that belongs to second row and first column. Second row and first column is this. I remove the second row and first column 3a to 23 that is the minor so minor of the element that belongs to second row and first column is 3a to 23 so you can calculate that there is a 9 9 minus 16 we get minus 7 similarly minor of the element that belongs to second row and second column second row and second column second row and second column is 0. If I remove second row and second column, I have 5, 8, 1, 3. 5, 8, 1, 3. 5, 3 is a 15, 15 minus 8. So these are the minors of second row and second column. Similarly, minor of the element that belongs to second row and third column. Second row and third column is 1. If I remove second row and third column, I have 5, 3, 1, 2. So 5, 3, 1, 2, 5, 3 is 2 is a 10, 10 minus 3, we get 7. The formula for cofactors, we have already learnt minus 1 to the power i plus j into m i j. Minus 1 to the power odd is minus, already calculated m21 as minus 7. Similarly, cofactor of a22, minus 1 to the power 4 plus cofactor of a 2 3 2 plus 3 negative uh, 5 minus 1 to the power odd negative minus 7 and then the formula for finding the, deter uh, the determinant using second row elements this is the formula sum of the product of the elements of second row and its cofactor element of that belongs to second row and first column and its cofactor Similarly, A22 and its cofactor, A23 and its cofactor. Add them and then we get 7. So, this is how we find the determinant of a matrix by using elements of a particular row or a particular column.